Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to go over another one of the DLC 3 weapons, and this is the Dakota. Now, it isn't a legendary drop, but it is pretty much just as strong. This comes from the last mission of the main campaign of the DLC 3. After you get done with all the missions, this is what you get for the bounty reward. They let you pretty much go into the bank, loot a bunch of stuff, and the middle chest will have random loot in it, but the center weapon will be this weapon, the Dakota, which is is a Jacob shotgun with times seven pellets. I'm assuming the pellets and most of the main rolls aren't going to change. Maybe the like weapon damage, critical damage and rolls like that. Maybe those will change, but I'm assuming it's going to be pretty set in stone besides the anointed. Now, if you don't know, quest reward items can come anointed and I got incredibly lucky and got pretty much one of the best anointings in the game on it. If you didn't get a good roll on this, there is ways to go back and do these besides resetting the missions. I know specifically on PC, you can just save your save file and then go loot the item put it in your bank then pretty much reload your save file i know they're also going to come out with a way in the actual game that they talked about where you can actually buy quest items to try to get anointed versions of them for this weapon it's a little bit different than the normal jacob's weapon but it's incredibly strong so it is a shotgun with baseline nine shots in the magazine i have 16 it is fully automatic it's not semi you can hold it down it has a pretty decent fire rate normally it's just a normal shotgun times seven with the pellets i do have all my talents on there's times seven with the pellet so it's just a normal shotgun with that and i don't think the headshots like normal jacob's weapons crit bounce around when you hit crits it makes the sound like it should be i don't really see any shots bouncing around so i'm not exactly certain on that what i meant what i am certain of is the special effect of this weapon so randomly when firing this weapon you will get and i just got on the first shot there you will either get the shots to come out as shock or incinerary shots and it's very easy to tell because they have a different animation so normal shot there's no animation coming out of my gun that animation was a most talent you can see because it looks either really fiery that was the proc for the incinerary shots and then that was the shock proc and it's completely random on when those comes out when those come out and since it's fully automatic it could shoot pretty quickly as you can see it procs quite a bit but not only that what does this proc actually do if i'm just shooting that five million was an incinerary proc so if i'm just shooting it's kind of hard to tell but i'm not doing near as much damage as the procs and then that was another incinerary proc for five million damage on a headshot right here it's absolutely ridiculous and on this thing i think with a shock proc yes yeah, doing four million damage still on a target without shielding so the amount of damage on these procs that's the main damage of the weapon is absolutely ridiculous you'll see in the footage because i've recorded some of the footage that you'll just randomly one shot enemies you'll just randomly chunk bosses because one a six million crit right there on a crit headshot with the proc it's absolutely ridiculous this does make crits a bit more important with this weapon not only does it have critical hit damage roll on it which would make you want to hit crits most of this weapon's damage is based on this singular proc of doing a ridiculous amount of damage you would want to hit crits as much as possible to make sure that you're able to hit a crit when you do happen to get those procs it procs quite a bit i could definitely see this weapon being pretty good or being much stronger the higher fire rate you get because if you can fire it faster and faster you're going to get more and more and more procs I could see this also being very, very good on Zane, just because of your extra shots you can get from his kill skills, extra fire rates, all that type of stuff. I could see it being really good on Zane. And I'm playing with it on Moe's, and the footage is going to be for Moe's, and it is still really, really strong on Moe's as well. Pretty much all I wanted to go over with this weapon. So subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands free content. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this weapon. And thanks for watching.
to have been ripped apart so much as burst open from within. Now I did want to go over something else that I've learned after recording all the footage for this video. There's pretty much only one extra thing I've learned about this weapon. It's pretty self-explanatory when I went over it before, but since this is a seven time shotgun, specifically on Moe's, this will proc your short fuse talent, which is used in pretty much every build now since we are high enough level to have this and another capstone. It pretty much procs this 80% of the time. Almost all of the time you're hitting the shotgun shots since you're hitting such a massive hit with your weapon procs so the hits that do 5 million damage right there since you're hitting so big of a hit with that short fuse is just going to hit so ridiculously hard it's almost like hitting something with a very high damage rocket launcher shot except you're using a fully automatic shotgun that can shoot very very quick and that's pretty much all i learned also with this time seven pellets it's going to proc pretty much every Everything else in the game that's built off procs. So say if you're using Zane with the Seeing Dead class mod, it will proc your kill skills much more often because it's using seven pellets. That's pretty much all the extra information I want to go over.